I want to give you a quick tour guide of the reading. We're on chapter seven, Jewish and early Christian art. When you click on that link, you can see how it's broken down. There's an introduction and there's section 7.1, which is what you are reading now for this first part of the module. Later, as we move forward in the module, then you'll go to 7.2, 7.3. But I did want you to be aware that one small piece of the writing that you're doing in this first module is actually tucked in this second part, 7.2. You'll find it by going to 7.2, it's loading, which is titled Imperial Christian Architecture and Art in Rome, and then skimming ahead click by click until you come to this page that talks about the sarcophagus of Junius Bassus where you will scroll down. You'll scroll down to find art and its contexts. This is a, a little section that kind of summarizes the major stories in the life of Jesus that are important to Christians and Christian art. So it's a little rundown of key moments that will show up in the artwork. So you will need to read this right away. In fact, it is going to be part of your first quiz here. So if we go back, you realize I want you to just reinforce, you're reading this right away, but mostly besides that, you're focusing on 7.1 you'll find that 7.1 has got a lot of information. So you're going to probably need to take your time and look carefully at the topic headings to help orient you to the organization of the chapter and how the textbook authors are arranging information for you. Because they are going to be guiding you through two major world religions and then guiding you from those major world religions to artifacts, artworks that are artifacts of the way those religions were practiced, such as at this site, Dura Europus in Syria, where you'll see artworks from an, ex an excavation of that ancient site.